Yo, what is up everyone? We're back here, Get Jacked on Ark Survival Evolved. And what we're going to be doing today is something pretty dang exciting. Now, the last time I went and tamed bats or spiders was during the Fear Evolves event. Now, that was when they were out all on the world and all that kind of stuff. So now I'm going to take it to the caves, tame up a couple bats and spiders, and kind of see how it works for you guys. Show you a little guide on how to get to these guys and how the taming process works. So let's go get started with some spiders. All right, and here we are. We are in the spider layer, and this is the the northern cave, the one in the ice. Uh, it's really low. You have to crouch through it, and I chose this one just because it's easy to find the spiders. Now, I don't know if it's actually going to be easy to get them out of here. When I was looking at the hole, I kind of realized it might be a little bit too small, but either way regardless we can tame it see this is the exit to the cave and I think I'll be able to tame the guy but I don't know if I'll actually be able to get him out of here but what I'm doing here is actually just luring him a little bit closer once I lure him close and then I can apply the bug spray and it won't be too too bad so what we're gonna do is they actually take spoiled meat so I've got spoiled meat all set and ready that's kind of like their kibble so it's actually way better than using raw meat on them you can use raw meat on them but it doesn't work barely at all so let's see where did those spiders go here there they are okay come on follow me and now I don't have bug spray on so that's why they aggro from far away once you once you see that I have bug spray on they will not aggro at all really <laughs> Which is great. What are you doing, buddy? I, I think he's aggroed, but he's not tameable. Yeah, he's aggroed right now. It's weird. Okay, because of this uh, runaway mechanic, they now, even if they're not really stuck, they'll just start running away, which is kind of weird. And with the spiders, it's goofy, because they'll get stuck on a stalagmite, and then, like, or a stalactite. Which one goes up? Either one. Um, and they'll get stuck on those and just run away. So this one we've got to follow. All right, here we go. Let's 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 keep him stuck like right here. All right, and he is stuck there. So let's get all set with this uh, bug spray. I apologize on how uh, dark it is. It is a cave, so it might be a little bit harder to see some things at points. But no, <laughs> we'll still get to it. We'll still get them tamed. Don't worry. So let's add our first boiled meat. So that's number one. Now it's not too bad, they eat pretty quickly once they get past the first bump. Uh, I, I don't know, I just like to call it that because the first food you feed a passive tame is actually going to take much longer than the rest of the food. I don't know if it's like the activation time or something like that. So I'm actually going to be putting a little bit of time here just, just looking into this cave, see if we can find another spider when that guy is still not able to be fed. And he should be pretty close now. Let's go back to that one. If I can remember, okay. Just gotta remember which one. And as you can see, you can actually just walk through these caves, no pro- Oh, now he aggroed on me, great. Okay, you have to be kind of careful. Do not approach them from the side or the front, at least for the spiders. Only approach them from the back, because they will aggro on you. Here he is, he's mad. But now he got stuck and now he's gonna run away. Oh, so annoying. But what are you gonna do? At least they don't come, I don't know. Now he's coming back. But he'll get stuck. He'll, he'll stop moving around. There he is. See? And now he's done with his little little dance or whatever he was doing. And we'll feed him. And as you can see, it's gone up that much. So we'll be back when he's all tamed up and ready to go. Alright, now he's getting closer. As you can see, I've literally just sat in this position feeding him meat. That's the best way to go. Once you find a spot that you, that works for you just go with that because he's not gonna move uh, when they're in the cave they don't go anywhere they just sit stayed to the wall no matter what you do as long as you have bug spray on so we've got him this is so ex exciting I've only had one spider for a while so I'm really excited for him to have a friend alright and here we are and as you can tell I'm glowing I'm a uh, I smell really bad because of the bug spray. It's really annoying to see in this cave, actually. I don't know if it's with the gamma or what. But I've got two bats here. I came to... This is actually the central cave, the one closest to the volcano. And we're actually grabbing these two guys. Or, or no, I'm sorry. This is actually the central cave, not the one next to the volcano. The one closer to the south. The harder cave. Uh, with the artifact of the pact. But... 
as you can see, I've got the bats. They don't move, just like the spiders. Now, these ones are a lot more annoying. Don't approach these from the back, because they seem to aggro before you can get close enough to the feed here, or whatever. Um, so you actually have to kind of play it out and get close enough to their, to their body parts through their wings without them aggroing. It's kind of like the special, I don't know. It's really annoying. And also, don't take, if you bring, say, a saber, or uh, for me, I've bought this bird in here, uh, because you can bring the birds in this one. Don't bring them too close to dinosaurs that can aggro, because I was just adding my bug spray, and you'd have to add bug spray to them as well for them to not get aggroed on. Now, you can't actually use the bug spray. See, there's 10 seconds left in the bug spray. You can't use another one. You have to wait till it's completely run out before you use it again. So make sure you run back to a corner. <laughs> Alright, and as these guys tame, I definitely want to go get a little bit of prime meat so that we can kind of see how that all works um, with them as well. Now, these take both regular meat or prime meat, just like other dinosaurs they're not spoiled meat or anything like that but i don't know this cave it there just doesn't seem to be much in it and it's kind of sad because i'm looking through it and i see this one okay well, there's one sarco right as i jump in i see the one sarco but there's this one guy one level four sarco can i even get any prime off of you i think i got like one meat but there's no snakes there's no sark i don't know what's going on I don't know why there aren't any in here. I did kill a couple snakes when I first came in, but I don't think that was all of them. Okay, so, prime meat may be a no-go uh, here. I don't know of a kibble for the bats. I don't think there is a kibble for the bats yet. Oh, there's that snake hiding up in the ceiling there. But, um, as for kibble, I don't think we're going to be able to find any. Definitely look around for snakes or sarcos or something like that the problem with them being in caves is i can't just run outside and go get some prime meat for them because by the time i'd get back all of it would be spoiled so now i'm feeding the oh, come on oh my goodness oh my goodness this is this is the life this is how you deal with this stuff so i can't go from the back because they'll aggro i'm crouched to make it even more effective i don't know if they stack i haven't been able to tell it, it does seem like crouching does help a bit but i can't be totally sure about that so i'm going to continue taming these guys up and uh, we'll be back when we have a bat here all right so here we are and we should have our guy pretty much all tamed up. He's pretty dang close. We lost the other one. I think my bug spray ran out, and I just kind of lost him. I gotta jump to feed this. Oh, oh, teleportation. All right, uh, we gotta jump to feed this guy. So let me get his last meat. Let me get close enough. And the jumping, uh, jumping to him actually works really well. That doesn't make him mad at all. They actually seem to like that. Uh, so <laughs> we gotta wait till it's hungry again. Of course. And there we are. So we've got our Onik, and we've got our Bat. Now, one of each of these is just not enough. These are not meant to be, hey, I'm going to take out my one Bat or my one Spider. No, uh, these are meant to be in a group, a pack, and so that's what we're going to do. We're going to get into taming a whole bunch of them because I just definitely want a whole group of them to be able to fight together and work together. I don't want to lose these guys and I think they'd be really cool if we had like a little pack of bats and spiders and all that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of see how many I can tame at once and see if we can just get a whole bunch of them going and see how difficult that is. As you can see with bug spray caves are super easy. Now the bats don't aggro on you because of the bug spray neither do the spiders so pretty much half of a cave is pretty much completed I'm just gonna keep yeah you can keep the spoiled meat on you for our spider tames but uh, half the cave is done the only thing that can attack you are titan boas and uh, I think yeah the scorpions still attack alright so here we are I've got a little loop going here uh, it's been really fun I've just been running around in circles trying to tame all these guys uh, so I'm feeding these two here, and kind of the reason I do it like this is because holy crap do the bats take forever. I don't, I haven't been grabbing like the super, and look at this, this magical poop, whoever Manny is, he keeps poop, look at this, I've picked up three of them, all by Manny, 
all right there. So I don't know what Manny's doing or where he's at, but his poop is teleporting in here. Um, but what I was saying was, these bats, even the low-level ones or anything like that, like, look at, there's this level 16 guy that I'm doing right here as well. Look at, okay, one second, get close enough. They take forever. So, I don't know, if you're in here already taming one, I think you might as well be taming just a whole bunch of them. But I've also got the spider going over here, and the spiders are just a lot quicker in general because, like I said, that uh, the spoiled meat just acts as a kibble for them. Look at, there he is. It's hard to see with the bug spray just waving in front of my face. All right, there we go. And these guys, like I said, oh, no, I just fed them a regular meat. Dang it. No wonder that didn't do anything. That's okay. He'll survive. But I've got that loop of three bats and a spider, so hopefully I'll see how many I can tame at once and uh, see how many I can go with that. Uh, and then we'll see where we're at. All right, we are back, and check it out. Look at these guys. Oh, my gosh. The painting on them is so cool. So, I've got our little pack. There, I was looking out here, and there isn't anything really crazy to fight. So, we're just going to go around. We're going to cause a little bit of chaos. I painted them all different colors so that I can tell the difference and know which is which. Also, it kind of makes them stand out a little bit more because they have really neutral colors. I didn't want to lose one in the forest or something like that. So... They are all bright colors, and we're going to test out how they work. Now, the spiders do have their their web attack. I want to see kind of how that works. Now, I've never got it to actually work. On, let's see. I think he just naturally attacked. Oh, you're done. Just gone. Okay. The bats are super strong. I would say they're definitely stronger than Dimorphodons. They just seem like they've got a, a, a much higher... They seem like the wolf equivalent of a uh, flyer. That's what they seem like to me. Like, if a Dimorphodon was a saber, then these would be the, kind of like the wolf. So let's go over to this trike. Now, like I said, I don't know, the webs just don't seem to work. I don't know if it's because I'm on PvP, I mean PvE, or because of other settings or something like that. But the string that the spider shoots, see, watch this. It doesn't work. It doesn't do anything. Um, when you're riding it. Now, he's not even aggroing on us, that's weird, which is nice, but as you can see, the string isn't working, so I have to just attack, but if you watch, look at, see the other, the other spider shot a string shot right there, and it actually works, you can actually see some of the other ones get like encapsulated in the string and stuff like that, so if you're riding the dinosaur, it doesn't work to shoot string at stuff, but if they are naturally just following you and attacking then they will shoot their string it seems which I don't get why that that seems seems like it would be the opposite but I'm sure it's just like a little bug I don't see people using spiders too much so I'm sure they're just not ridiculously pop like popular so let's see how they can take out this trike go get him go get him oh my gosh the spider stuck behind me they just annihilated that see look at look at there was a string on that compi right there from the other spider I can't do that Oh my gosh, that was great. They just annihilated that trike. I mean, I, the bats, I bet one bat alone could have just annihilated that trike. So I need to find things like T-Rexes or something like that. I actually would like to try out. Maybe this is what I, I should fight the brood mother. Fire with fire. Spiders and bats versus brood mother. That might be really fun and actually kind of plausible because the bats would be pretty strong. But... That's all I've got for today, so if you liked the video, please hit that thumbs up or subscribe for more content. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day, and we'll catch you next time.